How to make Herbini. This project requires a ball of merino number 5 yarn and says 15 knitting needles. First, we make a slip knot. Again, you can practice, make a slip knot, take the long end of the yarn and pull, put it through the loop. And here we have the slip knot. Take the needle and put the slip knot on the needle. This is going to be our first stitch. Now we're going to cast on more stitches. For this project, we recommend using knitted cast on method. Insert the needle. Make sure you always insert it in the right direction from left to right. So this would be the right way to do it. In, yarn over, pull the yarn through the loop, pull it out a little bit more, twist, and put it back on the needle and then adjust. Don't pull it too tight. Again, insert the needle, yarn over, pull it through the loop, pull it out, twist and put it back on the needle and adjust slightly. This would be the wrong way to do it. Don't pull it too tight. In, yarn over, pull it through, give it a twist and put it back on the needle. In, yarn over, pull it through the loop, twist and put it back on the left needle. In, yarn over, Pull it out and put it back on the needle. In, yarn over, pull it out and put it back on the needle. Keep casting on until you have the right number of stitches. So when you're done, um, spread the stitches around so that they cover entire needle and the cable. And make sure you don't accidentally twist. So this would be an example of a twist. To avoid it, make sure all stitches are facing in the same direction. So spread it around. If you can't, then maybe you cast on too tight and you should do it over. Now we're going to connect. Make sure your working yarn is on the right side, like so. So we just knitted our first stitch to connect the round. So the tail end is on the left and the working yarn is on the right. We're going to alternate knit and purl stitches. So this is a rib. Your second stitch is a purl. First round is um, a little bit more difficult, uh, but once you're past your um, once you get to your second or third round, it does get much easier to knit. So we're just alternating knit and purl stitches. And just keep moving the stitches along. This would be a purl. Next one is a knit. Change the direction for knit. In, yarn over, pull it through, and take it off. Change the direction. In, yarn over, push it out. Take it off. Change the direction. Now a knit. Insert the needle from left to right, yarn over, pull it through, and take it off. 
change the direction for purl. Make sure the yarn is in front of you. When you insert the needle, we are going to insert it from right to left. So from right to left, wrap the yarn around, push it out, and take it off. So as you can see, when you have a few rounds on the needles, it gets much, much easier um, to move the stitches along. So the tail end designates the beginning of every round. It's very useful um, to have it there. And then you can count um, you can count the, the rounds by counting the stitches. So here you can clearly see that we have knitted two rounds. You can also count that um, horizontal bar there. So don't count the cast on. So this is one and two. So no matter which way you count, you're always at the same number of rounds. So we have two already knitted. And now we're at the beginning of our third round. So again, we're alternating knit and purl stitches. And this is how you can tell which one is a knit, which one is a purl. So these little bumps, they designate the purl stitches. Since we're doing a rib, we are knitting the knits and purling the purls. So when you see that bump, it means you have to do a purl stitch. Make sure that your yarn is in the right direction, yarn is in front. So purl, change the direction for knit, knit, so see that little bump there? That's a purl. So purl, And this is a knit, knit. So you can see now that this is a third round. So we have three, one, two, three. Or if you're counting the horizontal bars, we have now three bars because this is, we just started our third round. When you've knitted required number of rounds, we are going to start um, we're going to start reducing the stitches. So to do B3 together means we have to insert the needle through three stitches at the same time. So insert the needle, yarn over and push it out and take it off. Next is a, just a regular knit. So we're alternating knits and P3 together, purl three together. So insert the needle through three stitches at the same time. In, yarn over, push it out and take it off. Again, a knit stitch in, yarn over, and the next one is going to be purl three together. So insert the needle through three stitches in, Yarn over, push it out, and take it off. And keep going, change the direction. Next one is a knit, in, yarn over, pull it through, take it off. Purl three together, insert the needle through three stitches at the same time, yarn over, push it out, and just keep going for the rest of the round.
when you're done we're just going to alternate knit and purl stitches for the last round make sure you always change the direction knit change direction purl change direction when you're done with your last round you're going to leave um, about 10 inches of so of the tail cut the yarn and now just um, take the tail end and pull it through every stitch one at a time and take it off the needle and thread it through that stitch and take it off the needle and keep going because if you were to just take the needle out your head would unravel so this way um, we're going to secure the stitches so two more left so now we're done all stitches are have been moved to the tail end and then you just cinch it like so make it pretty tight and then um, pull the tail end and secure it then you can take the end and pull it through to the um, inside of the hat Then if you turn the hat inside out, um, you will see that you don't really need a tail that long. You can cut it. You only need a few inches or so. And then you can take that tail and weave it in. So essentially we're just hiding um, that tail in between the stitches. We just want to make sure it looks nice and clean. And then you do the same thing with your tail end at the beginning of the hat. So push it on the inside of the hat and weave it in through the inside just hide it in between the stitches until it disappears and here we are her beanie all done